All right, so the next part uh, is actually going to be moving these parts around to make a box uh, with all four sides. So I'm going to take this side, I'm going to hit the Move tool, I'm going to come over here and grab just a little red dongle thing, and I'm going to turn it, and as I'm turning, I'm going to type in 90 degrees. Whoops. As I'm turning, I'm going to hit 90. There we go. It's now straight up and down, as you can see. And I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. I'm going to move, go until I see the little dongle on the side, move it until I'm at 90 degrees. And I'm going to turn the top and turn it 90 degrees. Then I'm going to take this corner here and I'm going to move it so that it's right on top of that corner there. And you can see I have my box front and side. Next, I want all four sides. So I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to move it, I'm going to move it to the other side. But as I'm moving, I'm going to hit Control to say I want to make a copy. And there we go. I've made a copy of that side. And again, I'm going to move this guy from that corner to over here. I hit Controls to make sure it's a copy. I'm not going to move it all the way. Because I actually want to grab the other corner and make sure it lines up with this corner. And as you can see, we now have our box with four sides. All right, so let's make the bottom. So I'm going to make a rectangle from here to here. And I'm moving around, and then I'm going to use the push pull tool to make it one eighth thick. I'm then going to do it on the side. I'm going to use the push pull tool and drag up until this corner. So it's going to line up with that corner. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to drag it up until it hits this corner. And now I have the bottom of my box. But I don't have the little tabs in it. So let's put those in. So the first thing I have to do is I have to put a line from there to there. And then a line from there to there. And I'm going to push pull just this little part out. And if I hide the other ones, you'll see that I've actually made a, a tab right there. So, all right, I'm going to do unhide those elements. So I have to go do that on all four sides. I'm going to take a line from here to here, and then from here to here, and then push pull. Yep. And then this side. Here, line from here to here, push pull, and out to there. And last one, line from here to here, and a line from here to here, push pull, out. Now I've made the bottom, but it's not a component yet, so uh, I'm just going to double click on everything and you can see it's selected all sides of it since I triple or I quadruple or quintuple clicked. Uh, it selects everything that's touching that. That's not already a component. And I'm going to create a component called the uh, bottom. Alright, so my box has a bottom, has a, a four sides. And we'll stop this video now and we'll continue in the next one.